to this charge. And I looked at that thing. And God always used a parable. When I got in church, I was fully charged. But then, acts start opening up. What is that? Sin. Amen. And what that caused me to do, it caused me to discharge. You don't, you don't have the power that you had. And that's why I understand the scripture say, when I was first nominated, I endured a great fight of affliction. Why am I, my battery dying so quick? I've got too many sin apps open. And what happened is, if I become a friend to the world, I cannot operate in the full potential of God. I'm talking about being fully charged because once when my battery is, when it's fully charged, the battery charge that charges the battery, it stops. It don't overcharge, and what it does, it stops so it won't damage the cells in the battery. In other words, if, if when, when God begins to charge you with his word, when he begins to charge you to go forth and preach, there are so many obstacles that are in the way. Amen. But when I begin to look at this thing, and I thought about all the things that I wanted God to do, that this, this is what I wanted God to do for me. I wanted my mind to be fully charged with a pair of thoughts. Hello. Because I understand that the negative thoughts cause me to destroy. Uh -oh. I want my action to be fully charged with goodness. Oh God. This is how you keep a full charge in your battery because what happens when you start thinking negative thoughts. That's why Philippians said whatsoever things are honest and are just and of a good report, you think of those things. But your friend will call you up and they say, girl, have you heard it late? Oh God, just left church, I'm fully charged, just left church and all of a sudden an app opened up. Good God Almighty. Uh, what are you saying? What are you talking about? If something, when that app opens up, I start feeling a certain kind of way. In other words, I, don't, I didn't remember what the pastor said because somebody's always trying to bring something negative to you to discharge you. Good God Oh God, and then I begin to look at how God began to work out that thing because we got to get to the place where we got to know where to go back and charge our phone because if you want to talk, you got to charge it out for up. Oh yes. God, because I realized we used it for so much. I was on the road and I was coming back from South Carolina and I used my iPhone as a GPS and I thought I had charged my battery and I was running off the GPS jack and all of a sudden it said I didn't have a 10% left. Right. I'm getting nervous because I didn't even know where I was at. I was somewhere, I was depending on the GPS. So I told my wife, I said, you pull up your phone. Oh God. But I'm going to show you what happened when you got different carriers. Good God. Because you can have a carrier, but your carrier can't reach like other carriers. Good God. Right. So I told her to pull her phone up. And when she pulled her phone up, she said, I'm not getting a signal. Oh, 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 God, I thank God for Sprint because it goes a little bit farther than her, whatever, whatever she had at a particular time. So I'm nervous now because it's saying I only had 5% left. Huh. And then all of a sudden in my car, and I pulled that up, and God knows it said searching for signal. I'm like, Lord, I'm getting nervous. I said, turn down the radio. I don't want to hear no Lord because I'm out wrong, man. Good God Almighty. But when you understand when you fully charged, you know that you can talk. Yeah. Oh, God, I want my lips to be fully charged with kindness. Good God Almighty. Because if my lips are fully charged with kindness, if you do good, can't nothing but energy come back to you. Good God Almighty. Because we're always looking. Somebody always got to come and bring you something negative. Oh, my God. Something to discharge you. Something to say, I'm pumped up today. I'm ready to be saved. Brother Matt, you ready to be saved because you want to charge. But, brother, it's going to be some apps that's going to open up that if you don't go back to the word of God, it's going to cause you to get weak. Mm. Oh, God, so what do I do? What I have to learn to do? I got to get around somebody that's got some energy like me. Mm. Oh, God, I thought about Jesus, and the Bible talks about that, how he was full of joy. And so I imagine if you walk into a congregation, if you walk 
into a place and you saw somebody that everybody sitting around said Jesus would be the guy that's over there laughing and full of joy. Oh God, because there are some situations that you walk into that you ain't going to be happy. I was telling somebody this morning, baby, I don't care how, how close a relationship can be. And y'all know when y'all first met your boyfriend, you first met your girlfriend. Oh, boy, you know, you see her name everywhere you go. In the streets, and even when the cold wind blow, that's when you were first eliminated. That's when you was in love. That's when we didn't have a cord this phone. That's when we had a cord wrapped around our neck. <laughs> and we stayed awake at night. Honey, you sleep now, baby. I just wanted to hear your voice. But then somewhere down the line, uh, you just wanted to hang up. Yeah. Mm. Uh, oh, so you lost that joy. You lost that connection because you don't want to get to the place where you learn each other. See, when a relationship, you have a struggle. Yeah. It's a struggle. When you say that you're going to be saved and this, you want God as your personal Savior, baby, you got to keep a charge on this thing. Uh, because there's going to be some apps that open up that you don't want to open up. Uh, oh, God, it's going to be some time when you have some thoughts in your mind. Uh, oh, God, I remember the other week. God Almighty. Uh, when I need that, I got so high, I need to know who I was. Uh, oh, it'll come back because you don't, don't, don't think. Because you don't got them on this side, it won't cause you to go back and remember the good time that you had. And brothers, you know how it is. Sometimes we can go back, and all of us, we can go back and say, I remember back in the day. Yeah. I remember back in that day, too. And that's why you see these gray hairs on my head now. I wanted to remind me how old I am. I ain't trying to die nothing. Oh, God. Well, it's all right. I want to, want to be reminded that I'm almost 58 years old. And I'm proud of that. It might be young to some of y'all, but I'm proud of that. So in the midst of all of that, I don't want to be a dumb fool. <laughs> I don't want to be a dumb old fool. So, Lord, I want to be 40 child because if I have to come back and you told me, I can come back and do my first work over all over again. Huh? And you'll wait for me until I get right. That's one thing I love about God. Huh? Because every one of us in here, I don't care if you didn't cuss nobody out last night. I don't care if you went home and went to bed at 8 o'clock last night. I don't care if you felt like you didn't do it at all. God woke each and every one of us up under new mercies this morning. Huh? Let me know that I need it. God, it was something on yesterday that I did not get right. So Lord, help me to get that thing right today. Huh? I want my hands to be fully charged with having my fellow man. Oh, God. Huh? You had to love those that despitefully use me. Huh? Oh, God, I want you to keep me fully charged. Huh? Because when my enemy come before me, huh? I want my cup to run it over. Huh? Surely, goodness and mercy is going to follow me all the days of my life. Now, I'm happy that I got saved. Huh? I'm happy that I came over on this side. Huh? I'm not going to tell you sometimes in my mind that's not pure. Come on, somebody. I don't care how much Holy Ghost you got. I don't care how much Jesus you got. There's some folk that just get on your nerve if you just come in the presence of them. I ain't talking to none of y'all. That's just me. You know, but I already know I, I, I can talk about myself. And, and when you understand, I was talking to my sister the other week, when you understand what you say, and the eyes of the Lord is in all places, the holy, the good, and the evil. So regardless of what you might think, you might think that I'm still wallowing in the morning or sin or whatever, but God said, oh God, you worry about that person that can struggle by in the soul, Sister yeah. Barbara. Oh God, when you're walking up right before God, and you know that you're doing everything that you can to be what God wants you to be, I can stand up boldly because you have to understand, as I'm walking, as long as I'm walking in God, Y'all didn't get that. As long as I'm walking in God, even though I'm in this mud flesh, I'm 100% righteous. Why? Because I'm walking in Him. But the minute I step outside of myself, outside of God, I become unrighteous. Oh God, so what I want you to do, I want you to keep me fully charged. I want you to, my feet to be fully charged with giving God His due praise. God Almighty. Yes. There are some times when his body don't feel like it. Right. 
<laughs> and like the brother said, I might not be up jumping and giving God the praise, but something down on the inside, Lord, saying, now God, I just want to thank you. Uh, I just want to praise you for everything that you have done for me. Uh, you brought me out of darkness into your marvelous light. Uh, so now I need to unplug some ads. Oh, God. Uh, I want to unplug from being a recipient of gossip. Yes, oh God, because I realize that gossip is going to cause my battery to run down. Uh, I want me, I want to be unplugged from negative thoughts. Oh God. Uh, oh God, in this mind, boy, you can think some stuff in this mind. Man, you get so mad. I told somebody that you ain't got to open your mouth to cuss somebody out. Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. You ain't got to say nothing to let folk how you feel. Uh, know how you feel. I told some folk, man, they are so good at looking. Uh, they can look at you and fuss you out and never open their mouth. <laughs> you ever seen folk that just give you that look? You already know. I told them when I was a little boy going to first out to Campus Stella in West and in, in Campus Stella, huh? we would sit on the front seat. Huh? My grandmother used to sing in the choir. Huh? She would give me a look like this. And I could read, interpret her look, and she never opened her mouth. She said like this, and she kept her mouth shut, and she looked at me. This is what I tell you. Boy, if you don't sit yourself still, uh, if you don't sit down and keep yourself still, when I get out this bar, uh, I'm going to take you out back and give you exactly not what you want, but I'm going to give you what you need. And her, her looking was so powerful, I said, yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, baby, you got to understand some stuff. Look, if looks to kill, man, a whole lot of folk will be dead. Uh, so I want my looks to be pleasant. Uh, to the room. Uh, people can feel the love of God. Uh, oh God, I want my looks to be so good. Uh, oh God, not looking good. Uh, but my spirit to be so right in God. Uh, until I get around unrighteous folk uh, and they feel righteous for a moment. God, oh, my, uh, oh God, I'm thinking about even the King of Gripper. Uh, we were talking about him this morning. Paul was so powerful uh, in his preaching. Uh, King of Gripper said, man, you all persuaded me uh, to become a Christian. Uh, but I want to do more than persuade. Uh, I want to be able to conquer uh, and let you know unto him that is able to keep you from falling uh, and to present you faultless uh, with a faultless mind, with a faultless body, with some faultless way and let you know that God can continue to fully charge you. This is the main. I want to be unplugged from hate. Yes. Yes. Hate is anything. And if you look in your iPhone, all the apps that's opening up, it'll tell you how much the battery is draining for that particular app. Right. If I open up this hate app, I promise you it would tell me that it's draining me from being what God wants me to be. Amen. Hatred. Yes. Ooh, hatred is mean. Hatred. God said, well, God said, I before you even got right, this is what a brother is. This, this is a definition for a brother. While you yet was a sinner, he died for you. And he gave you an opportunity to get right. I was telling the brother, I said, listen, a lot of folks wait until they get right to come to church. Baby, I don't care if you got a pack of new points in your pocketbook, still come to church. A lot of people don't understand that because you before you can chastise somebody, you gotta teach them first. Oh God, how can you beat somebody that you ain't chastised? Maybe, maybe they don't know how to get rid of the secrets. Maybe they don't know how to get the stuff that they dealing with. Man, we dealing with a society now that folk don't even know if they male or female, God, Greek or Jew, born or free. Because everything is so accepted now. Oh, God loves facts. <laughs> God, let me tell you something. In the court system, there's a civil court, there's a traffic court, there's a criminal division, there are the juvenile domestic, all in different courts. And if you belong, you're supposed to be in one of those courts, and your name is not on the docket out in front of that court, don't go in that courtroom. Y'all hear what I'm saying? 
If you're supposed to be in the juvenile and domestic court, and you're going to sit up in the traffic court, because that's a court too, <laughs> then you're in the wrong place, baby. Yeah. And, and what are you saying? In this court right here, in this place, God judged one sin, and that's all unrighteousness. So we're all in the right place. So I don't care if you're dealing with hatred. I don't care if you're dealing with malice. I don't care if you're dealing with drinking. I don't care if you're dealing with an with a abusive relationship. I don't care what you're dealing with. You're in the right place. You got to understand that God has a symptom. He has a remedy for everything that's wrong with each and every one of us in this room. Like Paul said, I have not obtained yet. I haven't even got there yet. But I'm pressing towards the mark of the high power, which is in Christ Jesus. And as long as I press, and I understand, you got to understand, we press against something, baby. It ain't going to be easy because I'm pressing, oh God, against self-righteousness. I'm pressing, oh God, against hatred because you're still weighing in the state. I'm pressing against wanting to get a drink every now and then. I'm pressing, oh God, against sometimes you want to step out sometimes. You know, be real, man. Don't lie to me, real. from lack of confidence. See, that's what the enemy lets you know. You ain't got no confidence. My confidence, oh God. Let me tell you about my confidence. Because my confidence is in Christ. I don't have the ability to do nothing. Good God. I was a failure in everything I did in life. But my confidence in Christ, oh God, I know in whom I believe. Yes. I want to be unplugged from being a victim to being a victor. Uh, I'm tired of being defeated. I'm tired of the enemy messing with me. I'm tired of him messing with my mind. I'm God said he has not given us a spirit of fear, but the, the, the power of a sound mind. And I'm tired of every time I turn around, my mind begins to slip back and not realizing how good God is to me and not understand how I'm more than a couple. Wait is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I want you to know, baby, that I'm fully charged this morning. Charge, huh? Until you got to open it. One thing about it, you got to check. That's why the Bible says, study 
stand and show yourself approved unto God. In other words, check your ass. God right. Because you might have some apps open that you don't want open, so you need to check your phone. Because some of my apps, I didn't even realize that was open until I do a double tap on my iPhone, and I realize there's 20 apps open, and I go to close them up. And all of a sudden, I find that my battery starts trying up a little bit faster. Oh, God, that's what you got to do. Oh, God, when you know that you are plugged from the things of God, you got to start closing some apps. So I want to answer. You got to stop closing some stuff. Oh, God, and let you know, for God I mean. And for God I'm going to die. You come into the presence of God. Yes. You can say these two words. Lord, help. And in between your help, he has interpreted everything that you need help for. Don't nobody know me like you, Lord. I can come and say, what's wrong with you, Brother Matt? And I'll tell you, Lord, I'm all right. He said, no, you ain't good, girl, I'm all right. Because don't nobody know you like God. God, I'm not right. I want to get right. Every time I thought I had my life together, some come up and mess it up again. But here I stand to worship. I don't care what your position is. I don't care. Oh God, what kind of charges you might got pending on you today. But I want you to know that God can drop the charges. Yes. Oh God, but you got to get to a place where you got to worship him. You got to praise him. And you got to bless him. Oh God, in a not yet situation. You got to praise him like it's already happened. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what happens when you show the charge. Well, I follow, well, that's what I'm saying. You get fully charged. When well, you come in here, brother, God knows, I know, you, you, I know your battle was low this morning, but I'm going to make sure that when you leave out here today, you will be fully charged. It is up to you to close the one more than ask. It's up to us. There's something God needs us to do. You know, I gave you the power. Now start unplugging some stuff in your life. Start to need some stuff out of your life that you know that's keeping you from being for you to need to be fully charged. And every time you turn around, that's why you can't leave from the church to the car before you get fully discharged and the enemy jumps on your back. Oh God, close them out. Close them up. Hey, so close them up. Close some things up in your life that you know is stopping you from getting a fully charged. I love God. I love God. David said, He said, Create me, Lord, a clean heart. And renew the right spirit within me. Then I can teach transgressors their ways. Sinners shall be converted unto me. I hold me for thou free spirit. But what are you doing? I know I'm stupid, I know I'm going to allow it. Don't say, no, whatever you do, God, don't take your spirit away from me. I've done some things that's not right in your eyesight, but I realize, God, don't unplug me. Oh, God, don't unplug me from your sword. Because, God, if you unplug me from your sword, then I'm going to die for real. But, God, keep me charged up. Keep my mind that will stay on you. Keep me with a mind praying. Keep me with a mind that says, God, deliver me in my undone situation. God, keep me in a place and keep me fully charged. God, I know that I'm not charged. I know that I'm not where I'm supposed to be in you. But, God, pray in me a clean heart. Oh, God. And when you help me, God, then I can help somebody else. The world is hungry. People want the truth. But you got so many folks out there that's still crook, that's still trying to kill people that don't, that, that's not, don't know the knowledge and the truth of God. But I came to educate you. I came to let you know that you can get the same thing. I came to let you know that God has no respect to persons. See, we get dressed up a lot of times and we, we fool ourselves because we get dressed up and we hide our infirmities and we hide 
right. the thing we hide behind, yeah. our clothes we hide yeah. behind that clown face yeah. that we done painted on our face because we don't want people to see the real me. But God, I stand naked before you. You know my uprising. You know my down center. You know my thoughts all. You know my thoughts before I even think. God, you know my struggle. You know where I want to be. You know I don't want to be in the place that I am. But the enemy have got me now. But I promise you, if you ask God to deliver you, if you close him up, I'm here to be a witness and let you know that God will do your best. I don't care where you are. I don't care where you are in life. God will pull you out of your situation. Oh, I know you will. Oh, no. Don't die. He will pull you out. Yes, yes. Oh, God. You Wherever you are. Shadow of the hill. 
We ain't got enough power now. If we all get a shower over somebody, we ain't got enough power now to heal nobody. Because we haven't been healed ourselves. There's some stuff in us that still need to be healed. There's some stuff in us that still need to come out of hell. And we try to lay hands on somebody else. But you need to be healed to hurt people, hurt people. And when you are the living dead, you can help somebody. Trust me. Yes. Yes. Let's show you right here. Please. This not, might not be for everybody. But there was a blind man. And he was walking, he heard that Jesus was coming, passing through. He was blind. And the people that was, could see, they was trying to get that blind man to shut up. And the blind man said, listen, you, I'm, you, you can see, but I'm blind. I need some help. Baby, if you need some help, you ain't gonna get cute about it. If you really ain't strong, you don't cry out to God. You don't care who's looking, you don't care who's watching, but if you need some help, you gonna ask for some help. Yeah. Oh, I don't need your help, but God knows we are hurting ourselves. I'm looking at this sister, and God knows the Lord is blessed. I don't know what she's going through, but right now, I'm buying the enemy right now. I'm buying the adversary right now. I'm letting the devil know that you all have no more control over this young lady. Don't know where her situation is, but devil, you lose her right now. Lord, how long, however long it takes, God knows the balance of heaven and joy over one sinner. If you got something planned to do, then you go right ahead. But right there, heaven is the choice over one sinner. Oh, God, that took his time out to say, I surrender all, all to Jesus, I surrender. God, I need your help. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Church, the church is dead. I want to let you know, just like I told Brother Mike today, he said, Pastor, I didn't understand when you said for me and my household, I didn't know that my household was me. I was trying to save my household. I said, but for me and my household, who in my household? But as for me and my house, I'm going to serve the Lord. Yes, yes, yes. yes. God is already the yes. whatever it is. Yes. I, I don't claim to be no prophet, but right. I came out and let you know you didn't, you didn't yes. come here by half by half. The sister didn't call me up yes. and said she needs to dance just to go join right. But somebody needed God on the The church is not dead. The church, I'm sorry. The church is not dead, but you got some dead spirits in the yes, church. But that spirit need to come alive. It's because there's some people yes. that's in here that really need Christ. There's some people in here that's struggling with some real issues. There's some people in here that's struggling for real. That is not their will for them to be this way. But because of the enemy have taken hold. But I came back to stop by the devil.
Lord, I thank you for the charge, for the charge. And if you need a charge on this avenue, if you need God to show you how to close some unwanted acts in your life, you can come. Don't worry about what people say. No, no, don't, don't worry about it. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Don't worry about it. Thank you. But one thing that I can say, you know, I, I, I love these brothers right here. God, give it to God. Give it to God. Stay. I told them to come. Thank you, Lord. And they have seen their friends, their age, be murdered. They have seen them die. But I want to let you know right now, God is a way maker. Y'all look at me. I want y'all to look at me. God is a way maker. Okay? I don't care what you've done. I don't care what you've done in your life. I don't care what you've done last night. Today is the day that's going to matter. I want you to know. The streets don't go, they don't love you. The streets don't love you. But I want you to know this is a real, a real brother that's been through some real stuff. To come back and say, I want to help y'all to be delivered from some stuff that you are in. This is real. I, I know. I already know. You know, you want to be there. But the pressure and, 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 and the, the people that you hang around with. But I want you to hang around with somebody that's got some power. Because when you need to be pro there, you will have somebody there to be able to let you know that you can make it. You can make it. You can make it. You can make it. I'm so happy for y'all. I'm so happy for y'all. What you happy for, Pastor? Let, 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 let me tell you something. See, y'all see the unfinished part and God see the finished part. Depression and unemployment. This song's for you. Today's a new day, but there is no sunshine. Nothing but clouds, and it's dark in my heart, and it feels like a cold.